What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Overdose. I'm your host today. Today, we have a small, intimate panel. Um, but yeah, we're going to do Andrew Tate reaction. Let's jump into it. do what it do so announcements real quick like i said red pill and chill is still on soft lunch it you can find this game at redpillchill.com um but today's panel i want you to introduce yourself um what do you do um and relationship status hello everybody my name is nimsy <laughs> kabibi the nimsy k okay celebrity makeup artist in atlanta what's up celebrity okay. what makeup artist okay talk to talk to shit talk to, him. Talk to you know, him. i am that girl all okay? right so um yes that's what i do and then um what else what was the second question what do you do in relationship status in relationship status i am currently single all right all right Hey. And I, put the microphone closer to oh, you. There you go. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Hey, guys. I'm Edwina Dorber. You guys can go ahead and check me out on Instagram at edwina.dorber. I am a content creator. I do fashion videos. It's a Tulo. Yeah. <laughs> um, right now, my relationship status is complicated. Oh, God. <laughs> you one of those. <laughs> one of those. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Michael Carey. I'm a stuntman and bodyguard, and I'm single. All right. All right, Trent, let's jump into the first video. No, hold on. Actually, actually, hold on. Before we jump into the first video, I'm going to start on actually this side. No, never mind. I'm going to start on this side. For you, if there was one trait that a man could have stamped on his forehead and it's the honest truth, what would that trait be? The honest truth about the man. The trait. The trait. Yeah, name one trait. Honesty. Hold on. So you will, the honesty would be stabbed on his forehead as in his trait? Yes. Okay. Faithful. Faithful. So like no cheating, basically. No cheating. Okay. And then for you? Loyalty. Loyalty. So no cheating? Correct. Okay. All right. Play the video. Woman, not a man, no. Well, of course. So <laughs> 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 good. How can you be high value if 50 men have talked? I've just been single for a long time. No, unacceptable. Haram. Why is it unacceptable? Haram. A body count is probably the number one most easiest way to judge the value of a female. I actually think okay. that 90... No, 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 no. I'm going to say this. I think 99% of the world's problems... Did you share it on the thing? I'm going to understand Trent? this, but if you can extrapolate, if you can listen to this statement and extrapolate it out towards society at large, I think No, pause it real quick. Pause it real quick. And then go back to the um, stream yard. Yeah. You gotta pl uh, press. No, no. You gotta. You see the things at the top. You gotta make sure that you press the button so that way they, we can see it as well. No, no, not that. <laughs> Go to Streamyard. Uh huh. Right under this big ass thing of us, you see these little things. Yeah, exactly. And then start over. How can you be high value if fifty men have talked to you? What if I've just been single for a long time. No, unacceptable. Haram. Why is it unacceptable? Haram. A body count is probably the number one most easiest way to judge the value of a female. I actually think okay. that 90, no, 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 I'm going to say this. I think 99% of the world's problems, and no one's going to understand this, but if you can extrapolate, if you can listen to this statement and extrapolate it out towards society at large, I think 99% of the world's problems would be solved if females walked through life with their body count on their forehead. Because it would prevent, <laughs> because it would prevent... All of the disintegration of morals, it would prevent so many things about the world. But you know, you know? There's like a and women would be like, <laughs> to be with me as a man, I don't want to put another number on my forehead. You have to be a good man. They wouldn't stop f***ing these idiots and stop being idiots. And all the idiocy would disappear. All the degeneracy would disappear. Families would return. Virgins meeting their first man, staying with him her whole life and being proud of it. Couldn't we go back to such a beautiful age? All we have to do is start putting numbers on girls' foreheads. We could fix everything. <laughs> all right, let me get your thoughts on the video. Wow, I think first of all, that is very, very interesting. Like, <laughs> okay, talk to me, talk to me. <laughs> like, I think that's very, very interesting. And um, to some extent, I do see his point. Mm. Oh um, shit! Yeah, all right. I do see his point because I feel like you know, 
females out here would be walking a little bit more, you know, cautiously. <laughs> yeah. If they did have that um, count on their forehead, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And like, they, they would choose, I feel like they would choose their decisions a little bit more cautiously. Okay. Yeah. I agree with her because honestly, like, I feel like a lot of females lie about a body count. Well, yeah. That's <laughs> true. That's yeah. true. <laughs> so if you have it on your forehead, you're going to be like, okay, well, it is what it am is. Am I yeah. going to have a one night stand or am I going to see this person as who I want to be with for the rest of my life? So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. And I feel like also because of the perception, I feel like there's a perception that women shouldn't have this body count. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so I think. Is it perspect- a perception or is it reality? Hmm, I don't know because I feel like to me, I feel like man. And you can jump in at any time people. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I agree. You already know how I feel about it. <laughs> no, I'm talking about on heart, whatever she's saying specifically, then I'm gonna get to you with your thoughts on the video. But go ahead. You you saying that that you don't know if it does or does not when it comes to reality versus perspective or perception. Exactly, because I feel like because of that perception that women aren't supposed to have this large body count, they're supposed to be as little as possible, there is that tendency, like you're saying, to lie about the the body count that you do have. And then it's like, okay, where does that put you as a female now? Okay. And why is it that guys, it doesn't really, it's not a big deal, as big of a deal, it seems like, for, for the guys, body count. Yeah. yeah. Okay, do you care personally if a guy has... Oh, matter of fact, let me get to his question. Um, Him. What's your thoughts on the video before I started just normally talking to everybody? I oh. agree. <laughs> Are you wholeheartedly? A thousand percent. <laughs> okay. So now, do you think for you, body count matters for a guy? Wow. Meaning like meaning like if you if a guy had a body count on his forehead, but he was a decent person, attractive, et cetera, would you care? Would that change your mind about him? Um, Me personally, I feel like... I'm not a person to judge somebody based on their past because I know oh. that somebody can change. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I could be this person, yep. you know, once upon a time, but I could change. Yeah. And who am I to judge? That's not my place to judge and sit in the judgment seat. Okay. You know, so for me personally, I don't feel that it's right for me to judge based on that. But moving forward, if, you know, we are going to be dealing with each other, Yeah. you know, we'll move forward that way. But as far as the past, no. Okay. Same question. I feel like if it was on your forehead, yeah, I would walk right past you. That's the mm, thing. Got you. Makes sense. Yeah. 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 So, um, cheating is not right. I Wait, what? <laughs> Who said anything about cheating? What the fuck? <laughs> we didn't say nothing about cheating. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is like they have on a forehead, but like most guys who like have so many body counts have cheated so many times. Like, How so? What if they could have oh. been like she said at the beginning? She said they was she was single for a long time. That's true. It could have been just dating. True. No, I'm, I'm not even trying to disagree with you, but my point is, for you personally, is there a number that's just too high for you? I'm guessing there is. I don't know. Mm. Okay, someone has a forehead of 50, but he's attractive as fuck, cool, got money. <laughs> I'm, th- I'm trying to show you an ideal dude, but he has fucking a high ass body count. Um, I don't know. I have to see if I vibe with the person. But but would you even try to vibe with him if he has the high body count on his forehead? Probably not. Yeah. So you actually care? Okay. Now, what number do you start to care? For you personally, obviously. Ten. Anything over 10, you start to care? Yeah. Damn. All right. Cool. <laughs> God damn. I think most college, most college people have more than 10. <laughs> In one semester, <laughs> goddamn. Wow. Freshman girls get more than ten. <laughs> like damn. Not in one semester. That's what I'm saying. One semester. <laughs> let's uh, let's take into account the age of the guy you might yes. be talking to. Yes. Ooh, That's talk to true. him. That's Context true. matters. Yeah. I mean, if he's only a year older than you, Mike, then move this closer to you. Yeah. If he's a year older than you, and he's only got you know two or three more than you do, and you're gonna judge him based on that, come on. And what if he's got more, and that made him better in bed than the ones you've been with? Oh. Ooh. Ooh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Practice makes perfect. I mean, I know personally I don't have anything like 10, but... Okay. And how old are you? 24. Precisely. Now, if you're dating a guy who's 10 years your senior, he's supposed to be at the same number you are? That's true. Um, No. Exactly. <laughs> so now he can be above 10. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we are here changing lives right now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 
So you said something interesting before. You said that you don't judge a guy's past. Do you think a guy judges your past? Mm, I think very much so. I mm. feel like when it comes to females, we don't get that same right. A lot of times when it comes to that. Is that a right? Mm. Or a privilege? Well, I would say it's a right. Mm. Because the same way I'm giving you that grace, mm -hmm. I feel like the same grace should be given unto me. I, I don't think so. Why is that? Because I think you care about my future. I care about your past. So if you, if I was, if I'm a man and I have no future, I mean, I live with a mom, I have no money, I got no ambition, et cetera, meaning no future, you can be like, nah, he's a bum, I don't want to date him. But if girl has a fucking crazy ass past, the dude don't want to date her. So I think dudes care about the past and girls care about the future. Do you think it's a pride thing? No. Why is it, why would it be a pride thing? Because you knowing, or as a man knowing that, oh, you know, the fact that I know my girl has been with this many people, uh -huh. I can't deal with her. No, I don't. I don't think it's a pride thing. I think it's more so a territorial thing. I think it's more so a status thing, more so than anything. Status. He wouldn't be with you if you felt that way. So you wouldn't already be his girl. Yeah, you'd have been disqualified from jump. So if you're with him, that's not an issue. Would you right now? Would you give a guy a a shot if he has no future? Like he has no ambition. He lived with his mom. He ain't got no car. But let's say he's attractive as fuck. He's, he's cool. He's a good person, but he just has no future. Would you give him a shot? But what is the definition of no future? I'm Meaning like, like he, he's not going to ever make anything over $50,000. He has no future. <laughs> but how, the thing is, how would I know that, though? I'm how telling you. I'm giving you the, the hypothetical right now. He will never make over 50. Never. Okay, yeah, no. So, no? Okay. I want to know the same question. If a guy has no future, would you care about that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I need someone to push me. Thank you. Okay. Talk to me. Okay. And for you, do you think you care more so about a girl's past or a girl's future? Her past. Because if she's worthy, then I'm her future. Oh, shit. Ooh. Talk just talk. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Next video. <laughs> exactly. Put a button on that one. And while he's, uh, you can just, yeah, there you go. And while he's doing that, make sure you guys smash the like button, smash the like button, smash the like button. If you got any super checks, make sure you send them so I can read them out on these. <laughs> Someone said, <laughs> never mind, I'm not going to read it because we ain't got no super chats. But we do have a CU Seifer in the building. Um, nice, nice seeing you, bro. We do have Sir Yeetis. Yes, sir. What's up, bro? How you doing? Uh, let's get it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Truly want to find a perfect woman that you believe that, that you want to have a family with, you need to, to sleep with a lot of women. Okay, hold on. Pause, pause, pause real quick. Someone said an interesting thing that I do have to bring up and then I get your take on it. Even though this is not a super chat, I really do still have to bring it up. Someone says a girl past is a good indicator of her character. Do you agree? We can just start from actually this side coming back. What was the question? The question was, does a girl's past meaning like her body count is a is it a good indicator of her character depends on her age because it also will inform you on the pattern of her behavior okay i don't necessarily believe a person's words or actions but their patterns don't lie true so if she's of a certain age say she's in her mid-20s and she has a pattern of going single every six months and then partying for a year and then back to get six months and yeah. Okay. That'll give you an idea of what she, what she goes through cycles. Mm, so you're not going to be around long, basically. <laughs> don't invest too much. Correct. <laughs> go ahead. I don't think so. Oh, think shit. Let's go. Let's talk about it then. Let's go. I feel like. And then move the microphone close to I feel like what I was yesterday, like as a female, is not the same as today. Like I can party to yesterday or whatever or a couple years ago oh god let's get and it spicy <laughs> no let's get it spicy ago, you just said today is not the same as yesterday oh but i could party a couple years ago a couple years ago yeah so like what i was in college is not the same person i am now you know what i mean like the way i value myself not saying i was like out there yeah which i was not yeah but the way i value myself now okay it's not the same because i was way younger like what he said and but yeah, I guess Go ahead. Yeah. the age span. Yeah. You're talking about a period of less than four years. Yeah. Okay, so going coming from high school 
to suddenly enter womanhood, yeah, you're going to go through those changes. Mm -hmm. And you're going to experience that all the way to 25. Then when you get to 27, you're going to have another one. That's where you're going to say, oh, I need to get a man. Oh, shit, I should have been single for a lot longer. That's called your epiphany phase. So yeah. you're going to go through that. And yes, you're right. Women change their mind like the wind changes direction. <laughs> I hate you today and love you tomorrow. I got, I got a question for you. If you was dating a dude and you found out that every single girl in his past he cheated on, would that change your opinion about him, even though that's his past and he's dealing with you now? No. You wouldn't stop the cat now. But where's my button? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, Wait, it will. Well, actually, it will. It will, it will because I feel like if you can cheat on everybody else that you dated, like you can cheat on me. Okay. Literally, like I feel like. <sighs> no, go ahead, talk. Go ahead, speak your shit. <laughs> Would that change your opinion? Would that change your mindset about the deuce? Even though that's his past. Even though he's a good person. He says, "Hey, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a changed person." There's no way. Hey, I changed. There's no way. So he's, then, there's so there's something that's gonna make him like there's another female. There's something mm. another female that's gonna make him like cheat. Mm. I don't have everything he's looking for, but. Mm. You walking right into my shit. <laughs> so if you won't give him that same courtesy, why should someone give you that same courtesy? Well, me personally. I'm not saying you personally. No. I'm saying like what you general. say about your your past doesn't matter type shit. Well, Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Man well, down. My past, I didn't cheat, so okay. it shouldn't matter. You know what I mean? Like Okay. That's how I feel. I didn't I Whatever. <laughs> She's done. All right. Same question. Um, for me, I just feel like I do agree that people can change. And it's like the question is a matter of the heart, right? Because mm. it's like for me, if I did cheat in the past, yeah. right? And all of a sudden, I learn from my mistakes. I learn from my habits and my patterns. And I'm like, hey, this is not what I want to do anymore. It doesn't serve me. Mm. I have the ability right then and there to change the tra trajectory of my life. I agree. And for somebody else to sit there and say, hey, this is a pattern that you've done in the past. And because of that, I cannot give you that chance. You know, that is OK. But at the same time, it I can't. I can't look back on mm -hmm. who I am and who I'm becoming because yeah. of that. So, yeah. okay. And then I'm gonna throw the same question at you. If a guy you was dealing with and you was dating, he cheated on every single one of his exes and you found out, would that change your perspective of him dating you now? It would change my perspective. It would make me um, tread very lightly with him. I'm not gonna, you know, take him out the picture completely, but he is gonna have to prove something to me. Okay. And gotcha. that means a lot of transparency, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, in order to gain my trust. Okay. Even though he didn't technically do nothing to you to lose the trust. Right. But the patterns speak as well. Okay. All right. Moving on. Oh, we got a super chat in the building. You see He says, wifing whore woman is like chewing other guys' bubble gum. They use and throw away when the sweetness is gone. <laughs> Get fresh gum. <laughs> do y'all have anything y'all want to say back to that? Ladies? Or men? No. All right. <laughs> but thank you for that super chat. I really appreciate that. Wiping horror woman. That's funny. All right. Um, let's go to the video. If you truly want to find a perfect woman that you believe that, that you want to have a family with, you need to, to sleep with a lot of women. Yeah, you do. Because you don't know a woman and you don't understand a woman until you slept with her. Yeah, but see, you don't let's know replay her that. Date her. You don't know her when you talk to her on, on chat. You know her when you've been sleeping with her for a while and you've seen what she's like and you're around her. You've seen what, after you've had sex, how she behaves. Yes. You need to sleep with a bunch of women yep. to finally find a good one to have a family with. If you truly want to find mm, a Let's woman, start on this side. The, what are your thoughts on that? That you have to sleep with, I guess, a lot of women to understand women as a whole and et cetera. I don't think you have to have a lot of women, mm. but you do have to experience some. Okay. It's almost like test driving cars, not to compare women to cars. No, we doing but it. Speaking, Let's go. <laughs> speaking as, as a man's analogy, we understand cars very well, and we're not going to go to a car lot and just pick it based off of face value. We're going to drive that. Gotcha. And if we don't. If we're not vibing sexually when we're supposed to be completely exposed and vulnerable, then why would we vibe on a regular? If that's where we're the most naked, you know, physically, but also emotionally, and we're not connecting there, mm -mm, it's not going to work. Okay. And you definitely don't want to have a family with a girl that you, you get bored with her quickly either. 
That's true. So uh, let me do some actual questions for you. So for you personally, are you going to, I wouldn't say, experiment with different... So it's, it's hard to say this without bringing up different shit. <laughs> so are for you personally, do you try to date a different women and then comb down on one? Or you try to be like, hey, this is one, I'm going to take my time with this one for a year, six months, whatever time, versus dating multiple and then coming down to one? Okay, so they have names for that. It's called the tester versus an investor. Okay. A tester has multiple in orbit. You girls know how that works. <laughs> What? <laughs> that's that's standard for, for women. That is standard for women. Yes. Just check out your DMs. We can screenshot that if, if you want. <laughs> uh, so, when it comes to that, women and men fall into the category. Uh, and, uh, and tester, women would call us players. Mm -hmm. An investor would be, as you say, we find one girl, we put our time into her for a little while, but she's not doing that to you most of the time. Mm. Most of the time, she is an, a, a tester. Yeah. Because she's going to wait to see process of elimination, which dude fucks up. Oh, this one dude said something slightly wrong. Okay, my focus is over here now. Got you. Replace him with another one. Step right up. She could be talking to five or six of them. Yeah. Might not be having sex with any of them. Might be banging out all five of them. Yeah. You never could know. Could be. <laughs> yeah. But she's going to do the process of elimination to find out who's best for her mm -hmm. instinctually. That's hardwired into her. Yeah. Because she wants her offspring to survive. Men should be doing the same thing because if we get that case of one itis and then she drops us like a sack of potatoes, we're over here crying for months. I agree. Y'all can disagree if you want to, but men just don't show you that shit because you think we're weak. But mm -hmm. in reality, we don't get over heartbreak easily like y'all do. Ooh, I'm on, I can't wait for my take on this one. <laughs> you girls do the monkey branch. Mm -hmm. You're already in the DMs picking up the next one. Who am I going to grab onto next before you even let go of this one? So then when you're swinging like this, <laughs> you are constantly attached to two men at one time. And then when that oh, happens, you walk out on dude, and now you emotionally checked out months before you dumped him. He's got to go through the breakup in the morning and watching you move on. <laughs> huh? I feel like me personally is different. Okay, talk then talk your one, talk. When I'm talking to one person, talking to the microphone, talk to the microphone. There you go. There you go. <laughs> when go I'm ahead. talking to one person, I'm talking to one person only. Like at one person at a one time. One person at a time. That's just who I am. Where's my cat at button? Point, no, no, for real. Uh, I swear. Uh, at what point do you decide that? At what point? Um. How many days does it take for you to say, okay, I'm gonna put these other five to the side? Well, I, usually I don't really entertain people because it's just who I am. Like I just. When I see value in you and mm -hmm. like, I give you my time, but I usually don't just. So if we check your texts or you your can, DMs, you've you got check one my... dude in there, only one guy in there is texting you right I now. I can show you right now. No, no, <laughs> I can show you right now. If I had this fucking <laughs> screenshot, I would. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. but, but that's just who I am personally. I feel like, yeah. like I'm West African. Like that's how I was raised. Like in that household where like it's like one person. Um, you want a family. You want to grow together and things like that. So. Like, when a guy approached me, I have to know, like, you are the person that I want to, like, spend my time with and, like, give you my all. So, yeah. For you, you're dating with, I'm guessing, intent of, like, marriage or you're just chilling or so you're just... So, where's that? Yeah. Okay. That's how I date. Why would you date somebody? Why would you date someone intended for what, just a date? Uh, yeah. Yeah. How old are you? 24. Okay. Did you feel that way at 21? No. Exactly. So at 21, you were dating just a date to figure out what kind of man you would want. No, at 21, I was dating. I was actually in a four-year relationship. You four were years. God damn. Yeah. I hear you. All right. And how old was he? 26. So you prefer older men? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think most girls do, that, actually. What's your age max? Great question. Like, how far would that age gap be that you'd be willing to go? Like, what's the oldest dude you date? Basically, he's thirty six. God damn, that is not hot. <laughs> <laughs> that's twelve years old. Now. I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't that's matter. that's normal in an African household for me. No, gotcha. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Same question. 
Um, actually, it's interesting because I can see definitely both perspectives perspective i've been on both that monkey bar side mm -hmm. and i've also been <laughs> <laughs> monkey branches <laughs> i've been on there and it's a real because it's like you know we're always okay maybe it's i can find better here or maybe i can find better here so like always trying to like not committed to like one person yeah so um i've definitely been on that on that stream but i feel like where i am now in life it's like i know what i want i know what i'm looking for and it's like mm -hmm. i don't want to waste my time so mm -hmm. I'm literally so focused on intentionality. So I can see what you're saying now because I know my value and I know if it's not worth my time, why, you know what I mean? Yeah. And at what age did you come to that? Recently. I feel like this is and my season. you're 24? I'm 24. But you didn't think that way at 21. Absolutely not. And Absolutely not at 22 not. either. Absolutely not. Damn. So just now you starting to realize that. That's just about the now, age. Year, Between yeah. 23 and 24 is when they slow down in the party yeah. years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, here's my take. <laughs> Hot take. Um, stop wiping these hoes. That's number one. You you definitely need to test a lot at the same exact time because a lot of times what men try to do is they try to focus down on one, not realizing that one is a hoe, not realizing that one is not even meant for you type of shit, and then you get your heart broken like he was saying earlier. And men, when they're lonely, they are truly lonely. There's no there's no fake lonely like you ladies have. You guys can go to your DMs and be like, hey, I'm lonely, I want to pick up a dude. But dudes, when we lonely, we ain't got nobody. So we we really 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 lonely. Sometimes we ain't even got friends and shit. For, for real. Wow, and that's so Sometimes hard. Sometimes your friends don't want to hear your shit. Yeah, that that's they'll, true too. They'll yeah. ignore your text. They'll ignore your calls. Like, hey, let's go out. They'll ignore that shit. Too, <laughs> they don't want to hear about your breakup. You know, it's crazy because I've always heard that, but it was so hard for me to conceptualize and believe that mm. a man can really be lonely. A man can really not be talking to anybody. Look and at really the rate of suicide. Alone. Look at yeah. the rate of suicide of men who get out of divorces and breakups. Yeah. They, Highest rate. Yeah. So I'm gonna be honest. I rather I rather dudes be a player. I'm I'm gonna be completely honest. Fuck the show. I rather dudes be a complete player, even explore the options, even when they have options, versus the complete opposite side of the dark side of committing suicide and doing all these other things. I and killing people because a lot of that's why these people are doing these weird and stupid things because they feel like they have nothing left. So when, like I said, when men are lonely, they are truly lonely. So my advice would be definitely be a what you call it, a tester. Yep, tester versus investor. Tester, get them hoes, boy. All right, <laughs> we got a super chat. We have UC for it says it's my birthday week. Oh shit, happy birthday, boy! I'm um, going to slap. Wait, what? <laughs> going to slap a bitch in the face with my dick. Okay, that's the only time you should ever slap a bitch. 